back to Insta Mom. This is Janani. Today I'm going to show you how to boil the garbanzo beans or chickpeas in the instant pot. Yes, do you know that the canned chickpeas have some preservatives like sodium and added sugar as a preservative and also few cans have inner lining that has BPA inside it. To avoid all these preservatives, I'm going to make the garbanzo beans in instant pot at home. Also, I'm going to show you how to store it in the fridge and the freezer. Let's get started. Let's go ahead and see the first method without soaking. Take a bowl, add 1 cup of dried chickpeas. Today, I have taken only 1 cup. You can go ahead and increase the quantity as much as you can, but the time remains the same. Now, rinse this dried chickpeas thoroughly in the water. And then add the rinsed chickpea into the instant pot. Add 2 cups of water. You can add salt at this stage if you prefer. Close instant pot. Select the pressure cook mode. Set the timer to 45 minutes and click on start. When it's done, wait for the pressure to release naturally and then open the instant pot. Wow! Can you see each and every chickpea holds its shape? But if I try to smash it, it smashes off so easily, it is so soft and tender. Transfer chickpeas back into the bowl. That's it, even if you forget to soak the chickpeas overnight, you can still do it in the instant pot. This makes our life so, so easy. Now let's go ahead and see the second method. Take a bowl, add 1 cup of dry chickpeas, rinse it thoroughly in the water and then add 2 cups of water. Now set it aside for 5 hours to overnight. I have soaked it almost for 6 hours. Can you see the chickpeas has absorbed almost all the water and it has doubled in size. Now transfer this chickpeas and the water into the instant pot. You can also add salt if you prefer. Now close the instant pot, select the pressure cook mode, set the timer to 10 minutes and click on start. When it's done, wait for the pressure to release naturally and then open the instant pot. Yeah, again, can you see the chickpeas? It is so soft and tender. I can smash it very easily with my hands. Let me show you how to store this chickpeas. You can either store this chickpeas in refrigerator for 7 days or you can just freeze it until 3 months. Drain all the cooked water from the chickpeas before storing it in the fridge or in the freezer. If you want to freeze the chickpeas, you can go ahead and do it in the Ziploc bag. I usually measure my cooked chickpeas and add it to the Ziploc bag so that it is easy for me to use it when I unfreeze it. I am adding the remaining chickpeas in the second Ziploc bag. Just flatten up the bag and remove excess air from the Ziploc bag and then close the Ziploc. Place this flattened Ziploc bag into the freezer. Let me show you the chickpeas after freezing it for one day. Can you see the chickpeas? It is frozen but we can just separate each and every pieces easily. If you want to use the chickpeas next day, you can transfer the chickpeas from the freezer to the fridge the before night. Even if you forget to take the chickpeas out of the freezer the before day, you can just take the chickpeas out of the freezer and just put it in a bowl and place the bowl inside the instant pot and pressure cook it for 5 minutes. That's it. It's super easy, it's more effective and it's so cheap than your store bought chickpeas. Hope you guys find this video informative. Please like, share and subscribe Instamom for more instant pot recipes. Stay tuned, stay happy. Bye guys. Check out more chickpea recipes here.